Welcome back to Afternoon Express this glorious Thursday afternoon. Now, the Sun Met is known as Africa's biggest race day, and it's in its 157th year. This prestigious affair is where elite horse racing meets high-end fashion and top-notch entertainment, and it's one of the most highly anticipated events on our social calendar. So, if you have ever wondered just how long it takes to pull off an event like this, worry no more, because today we are going to let you in on all of the details that make the Sun Met exactly what it is. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks very much, Jeannie. 157th year. That's mm -hmm. extraordinary to even yeah. comprehend that. Like, I can imagine what it looked like 157 years ago. Yeah, well, I think um, a lot less building, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I've, I've seen some pictures of, you know, sort of into the 40s and the 50s, really not much around where, where Kenilworth is now, and what a very different place it was. Wow. Um, and I think, you know, in terms of history, it used to be sort of known as like your best suit and shiny shoes kind of event because, yeah. you know, you put on your, your, your shiny shoes, you might have walked there all in the dust and you had to kind of clean them off again because this event really, um, I mean, it's a Cape Town event. Yeah, you know, it exactly. has captured the imagination of Cape Town and I think um, I'm learning, I'm not from, from uh, Cape Town at all, but I'm learning very much that Cape Townians are proud oh, of yeah. the fact that the Met is here. So, you know, the Sun Met... Um, it's the third year that Sun International have been involved, yeah. and uh, we're really proud of the history. Amazing. I've just got this image of 157 years ago, these women with corsets and those big, you know, mm -hmm. flurry skirts and umbrellas, walking with men in top hats. Absolutely, wow. And it yeah. certainly hasn't lost any of that glamour. It's, it's really no. super glamorous. How long does it take to organise an event of this magnitude? Well, it feels like I've just actually finished the one in 2018 because <laughs> the team really, they take a little while off and then, you know, everybody's back at it. Um, it there's a lot of logistics that go into it. Um, there's so much building. Um, there's really, we want to make the event different, yeah. but you also want to keep the basics the same. And exactly. I know that the, the team has really been building for almost three weeks. Um, they're still at it now. Uh, they'll be finishing sort of late tomorrow and then yeah. everything's ready for Saturday. Amazing. And uh, the amount of staff that it actually does take you're looking at a good two to three weeks of build. So, wow. you know, there's a couple of hundred people on site now. Amazing. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of effort goes into it. Yeah. Some last minute changes too. But, uh, you know, when you're coming to the Met as a, you know, as a, as a customer, you won't see any of that. Everything will look as if it should be there. Exactly. And you mentioned that every year you try and make a difference. Mm -hmm. Sun International is now uh, the title sponsor yep. and has, has been for three years. Hey? Yes, this is our third so year. So how is this year going to be different to the previous years? Well, um, I think one thing that we are trying to do is, because we understand it's a Cape Town event, yeah. uh, you know, so Grand West is a big part of our family here in, in the Western Cape, so we, we're getting them a lot more involved, so their hospitality is right almost on the finish line. So really looking forward to that. You know, Grand West, really, they entertain their customers, so yeah. that's one big thing. The next thing that we always do for the public, 150 Rand gets you in, and it's an after-party that gets you that you get the after party as well so Mafiki Zolo, Mapa, uh, DJ Maparisa and Ladies Amar are going to be performing. Amazing. I mean that's great value for 150 Rand any day of the week yeah. so that's uh, one thing that we're doing but also we know that Usain people... Usain Bolt. Yes Usain <laughs> Bolt will be there he'll be arriving in style once again thanks to our partners GH Moom for that yeah. um, you know and they do a fantastic hospitality too but uh, from a Sun International side we really are asking people to engage with the whole event. So yeah. um, we've got something called Passport to Sun. And as you may well know, you know, Sun City belongs to us. We've got a new place up in Pretoria, Times Square, yeah. where a lot of people from the Western Cape might never have been. Um, Miss SA has moved there now. So, and also up at Sun City, we've got the Golf Challenge. So what we're doing is we're saying to people, come to the Sun Met and go on to Instagram, go on to Twitter, follow the official Sun Met accounts, and look out for instructions because we're giving away a prize that will take you through the whole year, all the way up to the next oh, Sunday. what a great prize. But you'll get a stay at the Table Bay, you'll get a stay at the Palace, you'll get a stay up at Times Square. Wow. Golden Circle tickets to the concerts that we have at our properties. So, well, I would like to enter that. That uh, is absolutely. a great prize. Yeah, it is a great prize. And last the whole year because the last one of your prizes is a VVIP ticket to Sunday 2020. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, I'm totally entering <laughs> that one. Let's discuss the theme for this mm -hmm. year. Yeah, well, it's it's um, an interesting one. Yeah, you African... Know, African luxury, luxury, precious metals. Yes. So we're Africa's richest race day. Yeah. We started off and we thought, what better way to start with celebrating Africa? If we can't do it, who can? Mm. And start off with what's in the ground. So gold, 
silver, yeah. copper, platinum. Beautiful. We're looking for lots of that inspiration. And I know that in a couple of the shows here on SABC already, we've seen some designs. We've had some here on have, Afternoon Express. Yes, you have indeed. And those designers, along with two designers from Johannesburg as well, House of Olay and Biji, um, who we often deal with with Miss South Africa, mm. they're going to be there. There's four fashion shows in the day. So I think the theme is, um, for lack of a better word, rich. You really are looking to see what the designers are, are, are going to produce. And I'm looking forward to seeing the red carpet as well. Oh, there you go. So when you're planning your outfits, make sure you look rich. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. I certainly can't wait. What are you wearing? Um, I'm not going to say because it's not over the top. I'm not, I'm not coming in a gold sequin jacket or anything like that because I did see one in the weekend. I thought, no, I can't pull that off. No chance. Oh, I'm sure you could pull it off. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Jeannie. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. It's all happening this Saturday. Mm, it's going to be good.